Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the concept of naming in coordinated based system, coordination based systems, right? Yes. So basically for this, I did not find the proper theory guys. So that is the reason why we're just going through an introduction here because I don't want to give wrong information. Okay. Okay. So basically in this example, this R44.20 is a computer guys or a computer or a system or a device you can say. Okay. Okay, so here in this table, they are representing the events with that description. So whenever event S1 occurred, so there you are saying that notifying when a room of R4.20 is unoccupied. So the room which you have allocated for that system is empty. So that's what it is indicating with S1. Similarly with S2, we are notifying it is unoccupied and the lock and the door is unlocked. So basically the door is not locked. Someone can enter inside. So you are indicating it. Similarly, S3, notifying when R4.20 is unoccupied for 10 seconds while the door is unlocked. So basically it is, un it is unoccupied only for 10 seconds and the door is unlocked. So something ha could have happened. Right? Yes. Similarly, S4, notifying when the temperature of R4.20 rises more than 1 degree per 30 minutes. For every 30 minutes, if the temperature is increasing by 1 degree, then you will be notifying him. Similarly, S5, it is nothing but notifying the average temperature in the room is more than 20 degrees in the last 30 minutes. Okay. So basically in simple words, you can say based on some particular events, you will be sending some messages. So that process is nothing but naming guys. So this is called as a composite events. Okay. Yes. So if you want an example, so assume that this is your event generator guys. Okay. Yes. So this is your room and this is your start. So basically you will be checking the room is unoccupied. Okay. Then you will be locking it. Okay. Then you will be unlocking it. Then you will be occupying it. So you can do any kind of operation with the room, right? So you can unlock it, sorry, occupy it, unoccupy it, lock it, unlock it. So based on your operations, the events will be generated, right? So this is the finite state machine for subscription of S3. So basically here we drawn for S3 for this. For 10 seconds, it should not be on because if you notice here for 10 seconds. So basically for each and every one, you can draw the diagram guys. Okay. Yes. So I hope everyone got some basic idea on this. So in the next lecture, we will be discussing about uh, consistency and replication guys. Okay. So how the replication of data and all those things will be done in the, in here. Okay. So let us meet in the next lecture and discuss about it. Okay. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.